Welcome to the first grade lesson on function machine. So today we are going to learn how the function machine works for math. So this is what my function machine looks like. It has an inbox, in spot, and then something happens in the function machine and then something else will come out here. So we have a little song that goes like this. Function machine, function machine. It's like no contraption that you've ever seen. Numbers go in it. See what comes out. What's my rule? Gotta figure it out. So this time, what went in my function machine was what number? Right, just one. So I'm gonna, on my, the board here, there's an inside. So one went in my function machine, but when it came out, it was what number? Three, right. So now we have to figure out what happened in the function machine to change my one into a three. That's gonna be the rule for this function machine. But let's try another one, and we'll see if we can figure that out. Function machine, function machine. It's like no contraption that you've ever seen. Numbers go in it. See what comes out. What's my rule? Gotta figure it out. So this time, the number that went in the function machine was three, that's right. And what came out of the function machine was five, good job. So what's happening? Is it getting, first of all in our rule, is my number getting bigger or is my number getting smaller? Bigger, right. So if it's getting bigger, is that a plus or a minus? Plus, right, so on my rule, I'm gonna put a plus here because I know the number is getting bigger, so it's going to be a plus. And then we have to see how much bigger is it getting? What's the difference to go from one to three? Or from three to five? Well, let's use our counting on strategy. So let's start with three. How many hops would it take, how many counts would it get us to get to five? So if I have three, I'd say four, five. How many hops or counts did that take? Two, that's right. Now, so I think my rule is going to be plus two, but let's double check and make sure that that would work for the first one. So I have one and I add two to it. Let's see, one and we say two, three. Hey, that's what we got, so it worked. Now let's try one more and see if we can figure out, I'm going to let you try a new way this time. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to put two in my function machine. So in the in spot, I'm going to put two in. If our rule is plus two, what do you think is going to come out? Let's see if you're right. Function machine, function machine. It's like no contraption that you've ever seen. Numbers go in it. See what comes out. What's my rule? Did you figure it out? Did you guess four was gonna come out? If you did, you got it right. Good job, awesome. Now, sometimes in a function machine, it might not always be a plus number. So let's try another one. All right, now sometimes our last rule was a plus rule, but watch what happens on this function machine. Function machine, function machine. It's like no contraption that you've ever seen. Numbers go in it. See what comes out. What's my rule? Gotta figure it out. So what number did we put in the function machine? Two, right? But when it went in the function machine, what number came out of the function machine? Only one, exactly. Hmm, is our number getting bigger or is our number getting 
smaller when it comes out. Yeah, smaller. So would that be a plus or a minus if it's getting smaller? Oh, it must be a minus rule because we're taking things away or subtracting them. So that's a minus rule. So let's see, you may already have it in your mind what you think the rule is, well, how many we took away to get from two to one, but let's try it and we'll try it with another one and we'll see if you are right. So this time, okay, function machine, function machine, it's like, no contraption that you've ever seen. Numbers go in it. See what comes out. What's my rule? Gotta figure it out. So we had four go in it, but only how many came out? Only three, you're right. Now, is that still getting smaller? Yep, so our minus rule is still gonna be right. But how many smaller is that getting? Ooh, if I count backwards from four to three, how many hops backwards is that? From four to three, that's just one hop backwards. I think it's a minus one rule. How about from two to one? If I hop backwards from two to one, how many hops backwards is that? Just one. So we figured out the rule, good job. Now, if, so if the number is getting smaller when it comes out, it's gonna be a minus rule. If the number is getting bigger, it's gonna be a, what kind of rule? Plus rule, exactly. Now, every once in a while, they're gonna give you a tricky one, okay? And what they're gonna do is they are going to give you what comes out and you have to figure out what goes in, which is kind of tricky. So if, if I have a rule here, let's say five is gonna come out. I have to figure out what is gonna go in my function machine so that I can take one away from it and still have five left. Hmm. Now you might, if I take, some kids do this and they say, oh, five minus one, it must be four. But when I put four in, what really came out? Three, so it can be that. I have to start with a bigger number here, don't I? Because I wanna take one away from it and still have five left. Hmm, what is, we kind of have to, if they're giving us the end, we kind of have to do the opposite thing, right? We have to switch it. So what would I start with if I could take one away and still have five left? Hmm. Well, what would be one higher than five that we could put in? Six, right? If, if I took, I had six here and I took one away from it and I counted down one from six, would I have five left over? Yeah, that would come out, that would work. So if they give you the outside instead of the in part, if they give you the out part, you have to almost, you have to kind of think the opposite of this. Instead of minus one, you have to add one so you can figure out what was here. Then you can do the minus one and say, does that work? And you could say it does. So that's a little tricky when they get that. So, um, but I think you can handle it because you're really good at math. So awesome. So we're gonna do more of these in our class, but this gives you an idea of what Function Machine is all about.